good morning. You know what? After Thanksgiving, it is time to catch the gravy train to Snooze Town. And after you hit Snooze Town, well, it's time to eat leftovers. But what do you do with the leftovers? We are spicing up the recipes this morning live and local from downtown Colorado Springs. Coming up next. Turkey stuffing and mashed potatoes are tradition and on Thanksgiving. That all sounds great, but what can you do with all the leftover food? Yeah, well, this morning now we're adding some sugar, some spice, and all things nice to help liven up those leftovers. And right now, Lauren McDonald, of course, she's live and local downtown with all the answers. Lauren, good morning. Good morning. You know what, Craig and Abby, my grandmother always says leftovers are for quitters, but if you have them, you better spice them up, right? Well, right. that is exactly what we've been doing all morning, all morning long, live and local at four by Brother Luck, right downtown Colorado Springs. Here with Chef Noah, executive chef from Phantom Canyon, our first time working together. Yes, ma'am. Now, you know, I like to think I've developed uh, good relationships with the local chefs here over the last year and a half. Are you excited or are you a little bit scared to work with me? I'm excited. Excited. Absolutely. That's the right answer. <laughs> All right, so we are actually making a pot pie, right? Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. Okay, so how do we do this? So we're going to take our leftover turkey from yesterday. We're going to use whatever vegetables you have today. We're going to be using carrots and peas. Um, some corn, celery, and some onion. Okay, we're going to uh, throw it into a pot with some beer. Some beer. Some beer. Wow. Yep. Since Didn't we're doing since we're doing turkey, we're going to do a light beer. Normally, I like to do a dark beer if I'm using lamb or beef. Um, and throw it in with a little bit of flour and butter, make a roux, reduce it down, let it. I know what up. a roux is. Perfect. Yes. And then we're going to put it in a nice cast iron pot or a Dutch oven that you might have at home. We're going to top it off with those leftover mashed potatoes. So this potatoes. is just all chopped up. That, yes, ma'am. All of this right here chopped up into one little bowl. That's right. All right. We're going to top it off with your leftover mash. You can use sweet potato mash for this also, which is great. Mm -hmm. Or uh, if you want to do some vegan mash, we use uh, parsnips and mashed potatoes. Okay. Okay. We're going to top it off. Throw this in the oven, 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Get okay. it nice and golden on top. And then you're so, you're good to go. We're good to go. You got a shepherd's pie. That's right. I love it. Now, you are a chef, so you know how to prepare a Thanksgiving meal, I would yes, assume. Yes, ma'am. So any tips for, for those who might be doing their first Thanksgiving meal this year? Make sure you plan and plenty in advance and prep a lot. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple, my stepdad always says. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, there you go. Tell you what, not only does it look beautiful, it smells beautiful. Your favorite Thanksgiving food? Favorite Thanksgiving food. It's going to have to be prime rib. Prime rib. Not the fried prime rib that Jason was talking about, but prime rib. Right, because you said if you're buying prime rib, you're not frying it. That's right. right. My friends, I think the pilgrims would be proud. This looks so delicious. And we, have, we still have one more recipe. That's right. And it's one that is going to surprise you. I'll just leave it at that. It's a dessert. If you're Italian or you like gelato, you're going to want to stick around. Ooh. This has all been so good. Lauren, thank you so much because I have all you're new so ideas welcome. now. You're so welcome. <laughs> yeah, this has been great. Take it Forget the Thanksgiving here. meal, right? Yeah. <laughs> it does, and it's much better. It I prefer really the day good. after now than, than tomorrow. <laughs> right. I'm salivating right now. Yeah. Oh, lucky you. Thanks, Lauren. Eight. Just for you, Justin, can we make leftovers less boring? Yes, we can. Get it? We are live and local from Brother Lux, 4 by Brother Luck, downtown Colorado Springs, coming up after the break. 842 right now. Today we're reinventing the Thanksgiving leftover game by creating new recipes made from your Thanksgiving favorites. Yes, these dishes will have you feasting far beyond Turkey Day. And right now, another easy and delicious recipe with Laura McDonald and another special guest. Laura, good morning. Yes, good morning, guys. You know what? Thanksgiving dinner and Thanksgiving leftovers, you really cannot have one without the other unless you don't believe in leftovers, right? That's I right. would like to not believe in leftovers, but I just have never been able able to eat it all. And if you're like me, you want to spice up those like, leftovers. Right. It is 2017. It is time to revamp these leftovers. That's what we've been doing all morning long. Great recipes from local celebrity chefs here with Chef Noah right now from Phantom Canyon, executive chef there. We're making some gelato. I like the sound of that. That's right. I come from an Italian family, so this is right up my alley. <laughs> Great. All right, so how do we do this? We need, an, we need an ice cream maker? You do. Okay. Yep. So this We're is not just churning a, like no. the olden days? I mean, you can if you want, but we just picked up a nice cheap one that everybody can grab from Bed Bath & Beyond or wherever. 
And the nice thing about making gelato instead of ice cream is less fat. It's Which is surprising. Right? Yeah. Right? Very. So it's a combination of heavy cream, half and half milk, some powdered milk, um, some sugar and vanilla. We're just doing a standard vanilla gelato right now so we can add in our pumpkin pie and some dark chocolate. Okay. The great thing about using just the vanilla base is you can put any pie you want in there. You okay. can do your apple pie, your cherry pie, whatever you want to do. You can throw some cranberries in there if you want. All right. So, so you're just going to literally toss it in there. That's right. We're just going to, right at the end of it, we're just going to go ahead and fold in the pumpkin pie. And to make gelato, you need more of something than the other? Um, more milk instead of cream. More milk instead of cream. To bring down that fat content. Yep. And that's it, though. That's right. We're going to throw some Does chopped up chocolate. Does it have to turn longer? Um, it's actually slower. slower. So a little bit longer, but slower. Okay. Um, unfortunately, when you, unless you're doing it by hand or have the real nice commercial ice cream machines, mm -hmm. you don't get to choose. You just have one setting. Right. So. And you are not off the hook tomorrow. You're actually cooking for 10 people. I will be cooking, yes. I, I'm sorry. All these other chefs we've dealt with, I've asked them the same question all day long. Are you guys cooking tomorrow? Nope, I've got the day off. This is my one day of year that I stay out of the kitchen and my family cooks for me. But Noah, he is holding it down for all of us. All That's right, what so we do. are we going to get to taste this? Absolutely. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. All right, guys. Um, you know what? It's been a great morning. I just cannot. I can't even tell you how proud and how happy I am to have been a part of this because I have so many great ideas for my stepfather when I go home for the holidays. Hopefully he will, thank Here you, you be able to whip something up. Moment of truth. Looks pretty good to me. Hold on, if I can get it. I like how it's chunky too. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Gobble till you wobble. And then gobble some more, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leftovers until your jeans winners. don't fit anymore. <laughs> yes, we cram. Yes, we cram. Yes, we cram. Leftovers are for quitters. Thank you guys so much. The you. wise words of her grandmother. Yes. <laughs> but I hope there are leftovers because all that stuff looks really good. It is, yeah, amazing. Good stuff. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs>